Here is a communication question for you. The question is, can a function be continuous but not differentiable at a point in its domain? Explain with an example. So very important communication question and I like you to understand and then explain in your own words, right? Let me give you a few examples where the function is continuous but it may not be differentiable, right? So the example, I'll just give you a few graphs here, right? Let me just, I'll make few graphs. Let's say we make three graphs to make this point very clear. So let me draw a continuous function, absolute x, like this. So this is my function, which is absolute x. So we say f of x equals to absolute x. Now, at this point, tell me, is it differentiable? Differentiable means that you can draw a tangent at that point or precisely you can find slope at that point. So whenever we are talking about a function being differentiable, so we are talking about a definite slope or rate of change at that point. Now at this point, can you draw a tangent line? If not, then it is not differentiable. If you can, then it is differentiable. So that is how we have to reason it out. Okay. Now, if you see from this side, even this line is tangent. If you see from that side, this line is tangent to the function. This line is also tangent to the function, right? Kind of, right? In fact, we can draw so many lines and all could be tangent at that point, right? Well, there's no limit, right? So, but precisely, it's a corner. So at this corner, we cannot specifically say that this is the tangent. And therefore, it is not differentiable at this point, right? So you will note in any function, if you see the graph, and if you find a corner, then it is not differentiable, right? So we say not differentiable. So these are the examples which are not differentiable. Let me give you one more example where it is not differentiable. Let's say a function is kind of like this, right? So here also you'll figure out that if you consider this point, then at this point the function is not differentiable, right? So that is a cusp. So at a cusp also the function is not differentiable, right? Examples will be radical roots. There you'll have a cusp, right? Those functions are not differentiable. The function is continuous. There is no break in the function. Do you see that? So the function is continuous, but it is not differentiable. Now let me give you one more example. And this time what I will do is I'm making a graph like this. Do you see? Like this. And it's kind of a vertical line here and going like this. So this is a graph of a function like cube root of x. You will see that at this point, you can actually draw a tangent, and that line is a tangent, right? So what is the slope of this line? What is the slope of this line? That is what you need to answer. Slope is undefined. So we don't really have a value of the slope. Slope is undefined. So if you have a vertical line as a slope, we say it is not differentiable. Correct? So this is also an example of a function which is not differentiable, right? So all are not differentiable, right? So all the above are continuous. Is that okay? They are all continuous, right? But not differentiable. That is important. Not differentiable. So Function can be continuous and not differentiable. How to recognize it from a graph? Very simple. Either there is a corner or there is a cusp or there is a vertical tangent, right? Like shown here. So these are the cases where we may have a continuous function and it will not be differentiable at that point. These functions are differentiable at other points, right? You can always draw a slope here, here, there, anywhere but not at this point, point where it is a corner, point where it is a cusp, and point where 
the slope changes, concavity changes. Do you see that concavity changing like this? These are the points where the function is continuous, but we cannot find the slope at that point, and so they are not differentiable. That is how we reason it out. Thanks.